today's hashtag daily debate question for the at MMA Junkie Radio team. Is Nate Diaz making the right move by coming back to fight at welterweight? Remember, folks, he fought most of his career at 55. He dabbled at welterweight. Got whooped, kind of, to be honest. Forget about the Connor fights. Those were just those were just the weights that they happened to walk into the arena to fight in. Uh, there was no formidable camps or anything like that. That's just what they wanted to do. But anyway, that's why we phrased it that way. So goes, it's yes, should be permanent. No, go back to 155. What, what are your thoughts? Go back to 155. Anytime we've ever seen these true 170 bouts against somebody that's fought at 170, we've always felt like with Nate Diaz's style, just the way he fights, you can tell there was a discrepancy. It's just get picked up and thrown around by most of these guys. It makes no sense. If you can make the weight. Now, if he's saying, I cannot do it, that's another thing. I think he's leaning more towards, I just don't feel like doing it. And if that's the case. That's how I interpreted it. I don't, under, I don't understand that, man. Because like, he leads you a can clean make lifestyle. It, do it. Yeah. Like, he, he doesn't really indulge much in drinking and partying or, you know, aside from the, the MJ. But what I'm saying is he's not out clubbing and making a mess of himself, in, in, you know, like, like others. Now the other thing is he's the self-proclaimed king, yeah, right? He, he doesn't runs, have a he, belt. He does triathlons. So I think I, I vegan think he uh, style. I think he's just if there's money in 170 for him, okay. But I wouldn't say uh, the Anthony Pettis fight is one that everybody's going. We gotta see it. It has to happen. Like that's not making you run out and buy the pay-per-view. So I really don't understand it. I, I would stick to 155. Put a run together and see what you can do. I don't think Nate Diaz. Is a ma- I don't think he's a money weight fighter. He is just the perfect dance partner for Connor. But remember, Connor and Habib shattered the record that Connor and Nate broke. Mm-hmm. Connor versus Eddie actually did a pretty decent number. They did 1.2 million, which was 400,000 less buys than the other one, uh, the, than the ones that he did with uh, Nate. For, you know, twice. One was one and a half, 1.5 million. The other one was 1.65 million. Connor's the draw here. Nate is an outstanding dance partner. What I believe Nate can be, though, is a bigger star than he is. Is if he had just kept fighting and winning and winning, which he's beaten some good fighters. When I'm telling you, when Nate Diaz goes out and fights and wins, he flips the sport upside down. People go nuts, man. Mm -hmm. You know, either one of the Diaz brothers, but Nate as of late because Nick's just really, really pulled, pulled himself away from the sport. So I, I I feel like uh, look if it's gonna be permanent, just fight consistently. But if it's not, go back to 155 because 70 is just I don't I see some big dudes awaiting you, and uh, I I don't know I feel like when I see Nate Diaz have to make 55, which means he gives you an honest camp, that guy could be a world champion. I haven't seen it in three years, maybe four. If I go back all the way to the Michael Johnson fight. But the way he fought Michael Johnson, he looked damn good to me. I'm thinking of some of these bigger 170s, man. I don't know if that's going to go his way. I agree. I really do. 611 votes came in. 58% said yes. Stick to 170. 42% said no. How about C or other? Dana, create 165. Mm. Right in the middle, right? Yeah. Not, not, Not straight in the middle, but kind of in the middle and yeah. I think he would make a lot of people happy and I think Nate could compete at 165 because he wouldn't get the larger of the the guys at 170 and I think he wouldn't have to suffer the weight cut uh, our, our, our last guest Kelvin Tiller said hey look most people aren't really cutting as much weight as they used to but I still feel like uh, we're going to go in waves uh, in this sport anyway there is the daily debate again brought to you by the at MMA Junkie Radio team